for many of you to see me in your homes on Christmas Day. From her home to yours. Six decades later, the Queen's message endures. It simply isn't Christmas without it. Every year, we herald the coming of Christmas by turning on the lights. And light does more than create a festive mood. Light brings hope. This year's message, in the midst of history, life must go on. I think the, the, the theme is that things will get back to normal, that, we'll, that we will mourn the dead, we will remember and learn from the difficulties of this year. It has been an extraordinarily difficult year for people across the UK with the pandemic, uncertainty around Brexit, and now lockdown restrictions that are keeping people apart at Christmas, including the royal family. For the first time in decades, the royal family isn't spending Christmas together at Sandringham. And they were notion apart from Prince Harry and Meghan, who left behind their royal duties this year. It's been a year of change and adaptation. It is difficult when people are used to being so close to each other. Her Majesty even learned how to Zoom, and in April gave a rare speech to comfort a country stricken by COVID, tones of which were echoed today. People have risen magnificently to the challenges of the year. And I'm so proud and moved by this quiet, indomitable spirit. They are words that carry weight. Say that the Queen's positive outlook and enthusiasm really does have a profound impact on people's mindset. And that's definitely something I'll take from this year's um, speech. In a poignant finale, a carol sung by frontline health workers, a tribute to those who helped shine a light on all that was dark this year. Farah Morali, CBC News, London.